friends, welcome to learning with Miss Tina B. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Let's go. Let's go. Friends, remember to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more educational videos. So today we are going to read There's No Place Like Space All About Our Solar System by Tish Rabi illustrated by Aristides Ruiz There's No Place Like Space by Tish Rabi and illustrated by Aristides Ruiz I'm the cat in the hat and we're off to have fun. We'll visit the planets, the stars, and the sun. So what are they going to visit? The planets. Can you say planets? Planets, the stars, the stars, and the sun. Can you say that? The sun. There is no place like space. I will prove it to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. There you go. Jump in. Here we go. We will fly up so high. We can dance on the moon and play games in the sky. There you go. And we will swing past the stars. And in case you have missed them, you'll soon see the planets in our solar system. Can you say the planets? The planets in our solar system. Say solar system. Again, solar system. Very good. There are eight of these planets that circle the sun, and soon you will be able to name everyone. So how many planets are there that circle the sun? There are eight. Very good. Mercury's close to the sun's burning light. It is hot in the daytime but freezing at night look how does he feel he is freezing he feels so cold super cold on venus can you say venus the weather is always the same hot dry and windy with no chance of rain so we have the weather forecast so today's weather on venus is really really hot uh, nearly 900 degrees fahrenheit windy and dry so that's venus right there so now can you guess the next planet after venus aha uh -huh. It is, oh, let's see. He, well, here is a clue. It is my home and home to thing one and thing two. And it is also your home. You have been living on it each day since your birth. It is the third planet from the sun. And it is our planet. And starts with letter E. There you go. Good. What is that? Earth. Can you say Earth? Earth. Very good. It spins all the time, round and round like a top. It turns once every day and it never stops. There. And this question had thing one and thing two in a teasy. Well, they said, if the Earth's always spinning, why don't we feel dizzy? What do you think? Why don't we feel dizzy if the earth is always spinning around? 
Aha, uh -huh, here's the answer. We don't feel the earth as it spins on its way because we're spinning right with it right now every day. So right now we are spinning with the earth. So that's why we don't feel dizzy. Good. Next, here is Mars. It's the color of rust. We sneeze here because it is covered with dust. Oh, look at, look at him, he sneeze. And travel to Jupiter. And you will find it is bigger than all other planets combined. So the Jupiter is bigger, bigger than all the planets combined. And that is why Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system. Can you say Jupiter? Jupiter, very good. Saturn has rings. So it is so light. Who would you think? It could float in an ocean and not even sink. So there is Saturn. Can you say Saturn? Saturn, very good. A planet can have satellites that surround it. These are the satellites that surround the planet. Uranus has lots of these objects around it. And there are colors in space. I will show some to you. Neptune, planet eight, is a beautiful blue. What color is Neptune? It is blue. Can you say that? Blue. Blue. Very good. Now, we have seen all the planets. Now, here is a trick to remember their names and remember them quickly. So, we have Mallory, Valerie, Emily, Michaels just saved up 999 nickels. So, Mallory stands for Mercury. Can you say Mercury? Mercury, very good. Valerie stands for Venus. Can you say Venus? Venus, good job. Emily stands for our planet, which is Earth. Can you say Earth? Earth, very good. Mikos stands for Mars. Say Mars. And Joss stands for Jupiter. And Saved stands for Saturn. Can you say Saturn? Up stands for Uranus. Say Uranus. Good. And 999 is Neptune. Can you say Neptune? Neptune. Okay, let's say it again one more time. So you have Mercury, Mercury, Venus, Venus, Earth, Earth, Mars, Mars, Jupiter, Jupiter. Saturn, Saturn, Uranus, Uranus, Neptune, Neptune. Good job! So the first letter of each of these words is the same as the first letter in each of the planets you named. And now here is a game you can play in the skies. Connect all the stars you can see with your eyes. There, you connect all the stars that you see with your eyes. It's star dot to dot. You'll use your imagination. So use your imaginations and you'll see big pictures we call constellations. Can say that? Constellations. There you go. That is the great dog. And this is great bear. Can you say that? Great bear, great dog, Orion, Orion, the bull and the lion. There you go. So a dog, the great bear. Oh, uh, here you go. The great dog, the great bear. And Leo the lion, Taurus the bull, and Hunter, Hunter Orion.
A star in the sky may look small like a dot, but it's really a big glowing ball, and it is hot. What is it? Hmm. Let's find out. And there's one star by far that's our favorite one, and we can't live without it. And what's the name of the star? The star called. What's this? The sun. Very good. Can you say the sun? The sun. From the Earth, it looks big. There is one reason why. It's the closest to Earth of the stars in the sky. But be careful and never look right at the sun. Your eyes would get hurt, and that would not be fun. So how big is the sun? He asked. Look, we just heard right this minute a million of our Earths could all fit right in it. So there you go. So that means it's very big. Now, oh, look at the time. We must go very soon. But first, we must take a quick look at the moon. There's the moon. The moon does not shine in the sky in the night, but like a big mirror reflects the sun's light. There's the moon. Astronauts flew to the moon to explore a place no one had ever been to before. They walked on the moon and then drove all over in a space in a special moon car. They drove all over in a, spe a special moon car called a lunar rover. There you go. And we have a note here that says, an astronomer studies what's up in the sky. Thing two wants to be one. In fact, so do I. There you go. And the universe is a mysterious place. We are only just learning what happens in space. So I brought you a present. So what do you think is the present? Let's see. So I brought you a present to look in the sky. Just put this telescope up to your eyes. So this is telescope. Oh dear, I must go fly back up to the stars and take thing one and thing and two out to dinner on Mars. But there's lots to discover and it might be you who looks up in the sky. There you go. And find something that is new. So look. That's the big telescope, and they found something new. The end. Remember to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more educational videos. See you later, alligator!